Truecaller. It's a most popular app for call identification. The person who sent or received the call along with more information if available. Even the caller is not their address book. But do we ever wonder how does it even work? The people who have downloaded the Truecaller app on their smartphone as part of their user agreement, the Truecaller app asks the user to allow access the address book and contact on the smartphone. This data is then uploaded by the app to the company server. After going through several data matching defining algorithm, this data is made available to all Truecaller users to search. And this story starts from login screen. If you already use Truecaller app, you might have noticed to use Truecaller, you need your phone number. Then you can create your profile by using Google or Facebook service. Of course, you can type your name manually. But if you create your profile using Google or Facebook service, then any contact save on your Google and Facebook server will be uploaded to an Truecaller server, including mail ID, as well as your mobile phone entire address book will be sent to the Truecaller server. These are organized into record and each number assigned a Truecaller ID. When someone search the number using Truecaller search, the caller ID associated with the number will be displayed. So, out of the one people who know you and have your contact number against your name in their phone, if even one person use the Truecaller app, your contact number and name would end up in the Truecaller database. Remember, Truecaller also can detect even other call like WhatsApp, Line, Viber, or Telegram. Guys, Truecaller sometimes can show you the incorrect name. The reason of that, maybe lots of people save your wrong name in their phone book or you provide the Truecaller wrong information. But you can easily change that after installing Truecaller app as well as more information. Basically, that's how Truecaller work. And there are some cool Truecaller feature like reading another person's current status, is he silent, vibration, or is that person currently on call or not, even last seen on Truecaller. But Another person must be active on Truecaller, as well as mobile data or Wi-Fi needed. Same way, any other person can see your all these details. But don't worry, you can turn this feature off by going to in Privacy Center. Also, Truecaller has many more cool features like Spam Call Detect based on Spam Report and many more features. There are some downsides of using Truecaller like Truecaller doesn't work in all areas, it requires internet connection to work, no guarantee of information security, and it influences on privacy issue. But Truecaller lets you to remove your private number from the database. Go to the truecaller.com slash unlisting, then enter your phone number including the country code, then complete the capture and unlist it. But if you are a verified Truecaller user, then you must first deactivate your Truecaller account Then you need to unlist your phone number. Please note, it can take up to 24 hours before the number gets removed. So, is Truecaller safe to use? As like all application, it takes certain amount of permission to work properly, like contact, SMS, microphone, photos, videos, etc. And they claim all Truecaller user data is safe and Truecaller doesn't sell user data. How far is this true? We don't know about it. And this is not only apply for Truecaller, almost every application or any service you use on your mobile phone, they first take the user permission and collect user data. Even Google services collect lot more information about you. Of course, need internet connection. So why you still use this app and their services? Because we don't have any other choices. We must rely on their trust that they will keep our data secure. Remember, to work a application, sometimes all the permission they are asking, it's really necessary to work that application. Not all the application, all the permission they are asking, it's not necessary. There are lots of application they are asking unnecessary permission. Like if you are using a regular calculator app, if it's asking photos and videos permission, it's not necessary to give him photos and videos permission. Except if you are using Photovolt calculator, which help you to hide photos videos. In that time, photos videos permission needed. Otherwise, if your regular calculator asking you the photos and videos permission, it's not necessary and it's really suspicious. Of course, you can manually deny it. I mean, all I am trying to say here, because of lots of application which take the unnecessary permission from you, then take user data and sell it to the third party companies or they misuse it some way. So, you should always stay away from this application. But Truecaller usually doesn't take unnecessary permission from you. But recently, in 2019, an incident has come up that Truecaller data of 4.75 crore Indian user leaked on dark web. And that's really serious issue. 
not only true caller data has been leaked also facebook whatsapp data has been leaked lots of the time but still we use it because this big company security team are really working very hard to protect our privacy of course sometime mistake can happen we have to agree on it now we can decide do you want to use it or not yeah it's completely up to you guys as you can understand our smartphone is always compromised with third party application or third party services we use but if you really care about privacy and data security then you can go with feature phone it may relatively be more secure than your smartphone because it don't have internet connection don't have so many application or neither have so much option Guys there is nothing 100% secure and most of the time our sensitive information get still for our own mistake so that's why you have to use things wisely to make it more secure i saw that in some cases or some situation old is gold yeah it's true sometime or some situation but not all the time or not all the situation